Hello everybody, welcome back to Golden Dragon Games, I am your host Rocky2815 and welcome to day 18 of our LEGO Star Wars 2015 Christmas Advent Calendar. And that does not get any easier to say, but it is drawing ever closer to Christmas and by now the Star Wars Force Awakens movie has actually come out. Or, if you want to give it its full, magnificent, proper title, Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens. But yes, I haven't actually seen it yet, because I can't see it till Boxing Day, because of a family member being in Germany for the last three months. That family member knows who they are, and I know that they're watching Older Brother! Who said that? Anyway, let's get on and open the door and see what's inside today's door. I'm guessing some sort of micro build as yesterday we got a minifigure. Okay everybody, let's open day number 18 and as you can see to the left here is the jar while to the right is our um, droid fella and um, never got them to stand up properly along with all the other minifigures <laughs> and it is a 80 80 from the Battle of Hoth actually it's all ironic but yesterday when we got the Hoth um, rebel uh, trooper guy um, on the same night I watched Star Wars Episode 5 A New Hope because I've been re-watching all the movies including the prequel trilogy this year to get ready and hyped for um, The Force Awakens. So, yeah. But also, um, I got a Lego Force Awakens set coming to me today. I'm actually... I have somebody picking up this afternoon for me from Argos, and they'll be dropping around tonight. So, hopefully, I will have that as a bonus video for tomorrow. Okay, but anyway, let's build the AT... 80. I am right. It's an 8080 and not 80 ET. And again, I've ripped the box. That's day 1796 and 18. Doors ripped. But anyway, let's go on with building. Okay, let's. Get this thing out of its packaging, and I really need to empty my bin because it is getting full. I just remember because my bin is right next to me. Because, you know, that's how easily I throw the little bags away. Just close that, open that. Um, okay, how do we build this? First of all, we'll get this, which is the main sort of body of it, I guess you would call it. Then we get... What is it next? Yeah. This goes here like this. This goes here like this. It's the dark grey. Um, where are the other ones? There's supposed to be other grey ones. Okay, like this and like this. Also, if you have seen the movie, please do not post spoilers in the comment section down below because that would be, like, heartbreaking to me, but also I would have to delete the comment because apart from me trying to avoid spoilers, I'm trying to make sure for anybody else like me who hasn't been able to see the movie yet and they'll see it later this month, I'm trying to make sure, you know, spoiler free... So basically, please do not post spoilers down in the comment section down below, because, yeah, you know, we want it to be a surprise, like, you know. I know there's lots of people that have seen the midnight screening and everything, but, like, you know, not everybody can make it to that, so please, no spoilers down in the comment section down below and that is 
<coughs> a warning, by the way, just to say. Because, like I said, spoilers are spoilers. And there are some things, you know, don't mind having spoilers for, but not Star Wars Episode Seven. We've been waiting, well, Star Wars fans at the very least, have been waiting for this movie for three years now. Three years. And now it's finally out. The unfortunate people who didn't get to see the midnight screening or, you know, couldn't see it the next day or whatever. I do not want the spoilers, as it were. Actually, talking about Star Wars, has anybody heard about the Jar Jar Binks is evil theory? It's it's rather well, actually, it's rather interesting. Admittedly, um, I looked it up myself, and <laughs> it's ridiculous. Well, actually, it's sort of ridiculously, you know, how it looks very you know, true, and it could be real or something, but anyway, I just realised I've been building this for three minutes, I should not have been building that thing for this long, but I've had a lot of pauses because I still got sore throat, so, with sentences, but also I've been trying to talk and build at the same time, like I always do, but anyway, let's this here and there yeah, it's done nice little micro build goes along perfectly with our Hoff um, rebel trooper from yesterday and also as Hoff's a snowy planet I guess you could say um, it fits the Christmas theme perfectly but anyway let's put this in door number 18 and outro the video by the way make sure to be checking my instagram also twitter later because i will be posting a picture of what my christmas tree looks like because i know lots of people have been doing that and well i want to do it as well and i haven't had a chance because of the whole redecorating it twice that took two hours and all the needles that fell off the tree and the clearing up, oh. But anyway. Okay, just opening these doors so you can see that. Oh man, the drawer fell down again. This is what I mean about them falling. Really? I'll just have to put it like this and... Stand up, stand up. Again, this is another one that hardly fits in the box. Like, uh, number f day 13 over here, he doesn't fit in the box. Hence, why he's, well, in that position. But anyway, thank you everybody so much for watching. So you know the drill and you know what to do with the liking, the sharing and the commenting and subscribing and yeah, and whatever. Um, my voice just went funny a minute ago, I'm sure. Maybe it's breaking for the fourth time. Or it's just my sore throat. But anyway, thank you everybody so much for watching, and until next time, stay golden, stay frosty, and... Pisces!